Hi everyone, my name is Brandon Grazley. I'm a high school math teacher. We're going to use isometric grid paper here to graph vectors in three dimensions using their algebraic or Cartesian coordinates. Um, you can see here I've already got my grid labeled. We have a vertical line here and with isometric paper there's only one line that's sort of perpendicular to the edge of the page. You'll see the other ones are on diagonals here. The vertical line is our z-axis and the positive goes up from the origin. The y-axis goes downwards to the right, the positive y-axis, and the positive z or sorry, x-axis goes downwards to the left. And you can see the negative x-axis is here, negative y, and negative z. So to plot this point, uh, sorry, to plot the vector, we're going to plot this uh, the point from 0, 0, 0 out to 2, negative 4, 5. And then we're going to draw a prism that helps you to see where this is in space. Because if you just draw a vector, it's hard to know, is it kind of pointing out of the page or into the page? It's pretty difficult. So the way we do this is by looking at each of these um, coordinates separately. So start. let's start with the x being 2. So I'm going to start at the origin and go out to where x equals 2. That's positive 2. So I'm just going to kind of sketch this in with a pencil here. From there, I'm going to follow y negative 4. That's moving kind of backwards here. Do this so you can see it. And finally, 5 on the z, that's moving up 5. So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that takes me to there. I'm just doing this all freehand. Now that forms three sides of, or three edges of a rectangular prism. I'm going to just fill in the rest of these. We're going to go up 5 from the center as well to there up five from this point the one we uh, started with on the x-axis and maybe you can see the prism uh, taking shape now I'm just going to start kind of sketching in all of these missing sides what you're really doing is drawing in all of these edges to form the prism those same three lines we're repeating until we have what looks like a rectangular prism. Now, the uh, the coordinate, once again, is 2, negative 4, 5. So 2, negative 4, 5. This here is the end of this position vector from 0, 0, 0 out to 2, negative 4, 5. Let me get something a little darker here. And a ruler is good. Let's just draw that vector right there. And the prism just lets us understand a little bit better that that is kind of going backwards and up and um, out a little bit out towards us in the x direction. It's hard to understand without that prism being there which way that is going. Impossible to understand really. Okay, let's try another one. So that was positive x, negative y, positive z. Let's try to move over here. We've got negative 3, positive 1, negative 2. So I'll show you another um, option for how to do this. So negative 3, that's on the x. I'm just going to back up on the x and put a little dot there. Positive 1 on the y. Again, I'm going to start at the origin this time, which is not the way I did it last time, but this will work out just fine. So 1, 2 points now. And then negative 2 on the z, that's down here. So to make this all happen, the way I like to think of this is, well, I usually start with my x and my y and draw a rectangle with those. And then I'm going to repeat that rectangle down here starting at this lower z coordinate. The very same rectangle. Just count the little spots if you want. Now I've got two rectangles. Those are the bases of this rectangular prism. connect all the dots up, and we've got our complete prism again. Okay, now so that one started here at the origin, and then ends up and over here is our ending point. Find that pen again. Start at the origin and draw out to this point to get the position vector, negative 3, 1, negative 2. 
Okay, let's do one more. This one is 3, 0, 4. We have a zero here, and that's something we haven't seen yet. So let's start. We're going to go out here to the three on the x-axis, positive x. Then zero for y. That means we're not moving uh, out this direction or back this way along the y-axis. And finally, four for the z. That's up four. One, two, three, four. So this doesn't really form a prism anymore. It just forms a little plane or a part of a plane. Plane segment, do you call it? That's the whole thing. It's like a, it's in line with the x-axis and the z-axis, or the plane formed by those. And finally, our position vector. Oops, starting at the origin and ending at this point here. And there's our vector. Okay, I hope that's helpful.